Hello everyone. Welcome to our another mini PC class video. So today I will bring another very latest news in front of you guys about Windows 11. So let's start our class. So Windows 11 is now being rolled out the face and can be officially installed on your supported hardware. According to the Microsoft statement, Windows 11 provides upgrading, that means free upgrades for Windows 10 devices. But devices that are not supported may not be eligible for future circumstances or, or the updates. So nevertheless, it is obvious that most Windows 10 devices meet the performance requests of running Windows 11. So this because this 11, Windows 11 essentially built on the Windows 10 and this basically about the design improvement or the other things. So however, Microsoft is, is enforcing strict hardware requirements to provide the absolute best security experience. So now I'm talking about the software limitations of the Windows 11 update. So in this video, uh, I will emphasize the improvement of the security features requires by the Windows 11. So according to software, that is Microsoft software, so Windows 11 is designed with the great attention to security issue. Windows 11 requires a trusted platform module T, that is TM, TPM to zero security boot devices, which also raise the issue to upgrade. Microsoft Future explained that they hope to set a standard for uh, personal computer security though Windows 11 and also the old devices are not update Windows 11 for the CPU limit. In terms of CPU, Windows 11 requires AMD second generation and our newer processor, the newer processor basically the Intel 8th generation or the newer processor. At present, the processor limitation can be break through the Windows 11 limitation unless Microsoft release the hardware in standard line. If you find that you are not restricted to the software computer health check applications and if find that you are not uh, that that is not working on you so the check whether the PC motherboard or the TPM support and if there you set the secure boot option to enable. Hmm. Now I will talk about the update hardware limitation of Windows 11. So in additional UEFI boot that means the 4 GB RAM or 64 GB RAM that is hardware based relatively easy to update and the requirements for graphics card and monitors that are not limited but it is still recommended to use the graphics card that supported TX12 or WDD M2.0 diverse and 9 inch uh, that means uh, 720p resolution 8 bit so display above the channel so in other respectly that the windows 11 home edition users must be connected to the network when they first start the setup otherwise the oobe process cannot be completed microsoft has also recently pushed the updates for the home and professional editions of windows 10 that is uh, 2004 or 20 hs or the others we will mention everything in the description so if you choose the upgrade windows before completing that oobe that upgrades will start in 
own self. So in the summary, I am very happy to share my opinion with you guys. And we have developed the safe start functions for GK series machines. And if you GK series models restricted by safe boot, you cannot be updated Windows 11. You can contact us our after sales emails or you can also contact with our forum. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Keep in peace.